When sights and sounds of the campus fade in the long, busy years, yet will return in your memory echoes of old songs and cheers. You of the wrestling mats of Poway, fighters of clean victory. You who love the fair square sport, you'll hear the voice of Coach B. Go it Poway, go it Poway, hear the battle cry. He will remember, you'll not forget him. Though you are far away, he is calling, calling to you ever. Honor, Grand Old Poway. Uh, I think my favorite story at Poway Wrestling is when Coach talks about Fred Wong, uh, who is this big heavyweight guy, uh, <clears throat> and he won his state finals match literally with one second left. He reversed the guy, and Coach always talks about like he didn't win it in that one second, but he won it in the intervals and the hill sprints and all the training we do in the room, the weightlifting. And so then I always envision like a big heavyweight running those intervals right behind me because I'm not used to that, but yeah. What it takes to be a high wrestler. Um, I mean, it takes a lot of work. Um, you know, you gotta have to battle every second of the match. It takes a lot of dedication, showing up uh, to practice. Days when we have breaks, like Thanksgiving break and like Christmas. Um, but it takes a lot of work to be a college wrestler. Uh, what it takes to be a power wrestler, I would say, is to not quit. Never quit, no matter what. Um, so many guys have gone through this program and dropped out because it's just too hard for them. Too much demands. So just don't quit. Keep with the program, no matter where you end up. Give everything your best. Uh, it took me about like a million practices <laughs> in the mornings before school, during school, after school, giving up all your breaks. And it's gonna feel pretty good to be in here and come back later and just see my name on a wall or like a picture. Yeah. Probably the one he says all the time those who say will be champions. Love that one. Because even if like you didn't like crack the lineup and you weren't the guy that everybody knows about about power wrestling, he's still gonna you're still gonna get like the same stuff that all the varsity guys got and you're still gonna be like treated pretty much the same and you're still gonna get all of those valuable life lessons out of the sport. Felt pretty good like to finally make it to where I am now. Knowing that I trained hard.
Miranda. In the glorious years of the Renaissance, a young talented artist was taken to see the golden doors of the baptistry near the Duomo in Florence. His favorite scene on those gilded squares was of David slaying Goliath. He decided then and there to be a master artist. His name was Michelangelo. Years later, he sculpted the masterpiece, the David, symbolic of victory. It now proudly stands a few blocks from the golden doors of the baptistry. So it is with young Jason Miranda. When he saw his underdog older brother Josh upset the mighty Carmona as a freshman, he was hooked. He committed then and there to be a champion, to be fearless, to leave a masterpiece behind. He had to beat a teammate, a returning state medalist, the number three ranked wrestler in the state, the great Carson Sario, to even make the lineup. In a torturous and heartbreaking move, he won the top spot. He marched through CIF and Masters unblemished and went to the golden doors of the state semifinals and knocked on them as loudly as he could. Favorite power wrestler? Uh, probably Cold Doyle, because I just love how he wrestles. Um, because I've also known him for a, a really long time, and he's super cool. And um, I don't know, just his style of wrestling I connect with, I feel like. So, I don't know, I think I have to say probably Shane Roselle. And I've read his story a lot on the wall. You know, Fat Poway's first state champion. He's a little guy, just like me. Um, you know, started wrestling, uh, I think, kind of late. And just was able to reach the top through our work. I have to say probably Dobby, big cool guy. He comes in a lot of us, wrestles with us. Teaches a lot of cool things about wrestling. And who's the most like Dobby on this team? Probably Nathan Tausch. Favorite story of Poway wrestling? Um, I would say Reno this year. You know, we came in uh, expecting to get second. You know, Brian Sarah was even a little down, but uh, Buchanan was going. That's why they've never really been. And uh, we wanted to win our fifth one in a row. And we go out there. You know, it's really close first day, and then uh, we ended up pulling out. Had a couple finalists, and that really boosted us. We ended up beating Buchanan. They were number two in the country.
And on the first night of the state tournament, Poway had pulled into one point away from Big Buchanan and needed a great night to stay on their tail and fend for this championship. But hearts were broken, dreams appeared to be shattered, certain wrestlers fell short. And that night, there was heartbreak in Poway Nation. But in the words of Sir Lancelot, a little I'm hurt, but yet not slain. I'll but lay down and bleed a while, and then I'll rise and fight again. And on the morning, they did rise, they did fight again, and glory and greatness was attained. The time you won our town the race, we chaired you through the marketplace. Man and boy stood cheering by, and home we brought you shoulder high. Today, the road, all runners come, and shoulder high we bring you home, townsmen of a prouder town. Old cowboy wisdom says that there are old bull riders and there are bold bull riders, but there ain't no old bold bull riders. To be famous, to be a legend, a bull rider has to hold on for eight seconds. In the championship match of the 152 pound weight class, Dom Mata had to ride a wild bull a champion who wanted to deeply win and throw him off his back. He had to ride him fearlessly and undaunted for two impossibly long minutes, 120 seconds. Munoz is from Regal Heritage. He is superhuman strong and has tremendous talent. But somehow Dom rode him for 100 scintillating seconds. He finally had his boots in an unbreakable cinch and sure victory with only 20 seconds to go. But a stalemate was called. It would have to reset. There was new life for Munoz. One more chance on the edge of the cliff. It was the point of no return. Ride him, you win. Lose him, you and your champions. How do you send out a legend with all his heart? The great warrior Atouche wanted to send out Coach Brandsetter with yet another champion. He faced the mighty Montalvo and the odds were deeply against him, as deep as the armbar that he fought off. Did he win the title? No. But with the wild rage of a wrestler warrior heart, he raged, he raged against the night. He did not go gently into the good night. And in a way, it was the perfect send off.
because never quitting is the hallmark of a Poway wrestler. Wrestling hard and furious and fast is the hallmark of a champion's heart. And he had the wild wrestler's warrior heart. When shall his glory fade? All the wild charge he made. And finally, it was finished. The last words of the final chapter of a brilliant book. The figures and faces of the final 14 are now plastered and painted on the walls of the Doc Monday Center. It is the Sistine Chapel of Poway Wrestling. There in bright and bold colors, they join the other 1,400 varsity starters in an epic illustration 40 years in the making. Only a master for the ages could have created this. There in candid color, it shows the story of victory and defeat, tragedy and triumph, granite grit, greatness and glory. It tells the story of pain and the proud power of Poway. In the heart of the chapel stands the pantheon of the 14 state champions. It begins with the first, the lightweight, Shane Roselle. It boasts Baker, Boone, Barrios, and Beard. It thunders with Nichols, Chavrin, Yorba, Dobby, and Doyle. It honors Ralphie, Hovis, and the newest and youngest, Don Mata. And of course, the closer, the heavyweight, the immortal Fred Wong. They were the stars of a blazing constellation, but never let it be forgot of the countless others, the 14 plus thousand, the supporting cast, like David DiPietro, who miraculously got to state in 1999 and earned one point in the tournament. That team won the championship, the state championship, by one point. In the words of Coach Brandstetter, David D. Pietro's picture does not hang on the wall, but his name is written on my heart. And of course, Z. The great champion famous for takedowns and pins, who called Coach Brandstetter to his bedside in the hospital for one last Z-double the day before he died. They are there. They are all there. They are there for all the world to see. Coach Brandstetter and Poway Wrestling say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. May he never be forgot. The tumult and the shouting dies. The captains and the kings depart. Still stands thine ancient sacrifice and humble and a contrite heart. Lord, God of hosts, be with us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. And he belongs now to the ages.